Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been digging into class action settlements in the wake of me getting a check with the wrong name on it from some Apple lawsuit that was settled a little while ago. And if you are a Facebook user, you likely got this notice on your phone about a privacy lawsuit that has been settled and they want to give you money. I have made the decision to opt out of this settlement and I'm gonna tell you why because ultimately the lawyers and Facebook make out really great here and we do not. Let's get to it. Now, before we dive into the mechanics of this settlement, I thought it might be helpful to look at what this lawsuit is all about. So on a Friday, two days before Christmas in 2022, Facebook announced that they were going to pay out $725 million to settle this lawsuit. By the way, if you want to release bad news without it impacting your stock price, a Friday is always a good day to do it because the investors have two days to think about it. And the Friday before Christmas is really the best time because no one's really paying much attention on that particular day. They're all running home for the long weekend here. Uh, but that was when they announced the settlement, December 23rd of 2022. Now the lawsuit began with the Cambridge Analytica scandal that you likely read about before. And if you haven't read about it, you can read more about it on CNBC's website through the link on screen. But then the lawsuit was broadened to look at all of Facebook's data sharing practices from 2007 to 2022. And that is basically the extent now of the class that these lawyers who are about to make a lot of money represented. So what this lawsuit encompasses is any bad thing that Facebook did over this period of time, basically the full existence of Facebook as a public company. Now, how will you be notified that you're part of this class? Well, it looks like a bulk of the notifications are going to be done through the Facebook app, although they are conducting right now a media campaign to let all the major news organizations know that people can file to get some money out of this lawsuit. But even if you don't file anything, you are part of this class unless you opt out. So 200 plus million people in the United States are automatically included unless they make the effort to remove themselves from the class like I am doing. So even if you don't get any money, you're part of this class. And that's gonna be important as we work our way through this. Now, if you do file for payment, how much money are you going to get? Well, it's hard to say because of how they're calculating things. So basically the lawyers are gonna get their money and I'll tell you how much money they're getting in a minute. And after that, what's left after expenses goes out to the class, but they will be weighting the amount of money based on how long you've been a Facebook user for. So I've been on Facebook since 2006, right when they first opened it up to the public. So I will be f weighted far heavier than somebody who may be signed up in 2012, for example. But if my recent experience with class action settlements is any indication, it won't be all that much money. I got $14 and change on that Apple replacement device lawsuit that settled for a whole bunch of money. And then the Equifax settlement that was involving well over 140 million people netted me a whopping $17.61, even though my data is likely floating around the dark web for eternity here. So usually we, the consumer, don't do all that well here, but the lawyers do really, really well. So in the motion here, they are asking for not more than 25% of the settlement fund. And remember, the settlement fund is $725 million, which means they get about $181 million plus their expenses reimbursed. So the attorneys in this case will be getting some life-changing money as a result of their activities here in the lawsuit. You as the consumer will be lucky to walk away with maybe 50 or 60 bucks given the size of this class and how they're calculating out the payments. What's worse is what you are giving up by being a member of this class. So if you look at their FAQ on their website, what they're saying is that you cannot sue, continue to sue, or be a part of any other lawsuit in the future against Facebook or Meta now, as that's what they call themselves, about any legal claims this settlement resolves or the factual allegations on which this case is based. And they're kind of cagey here about the details related to what you're giving up as a member of the settlement class. But if you dig into the settlement document, you can see that you're basically giving up the right to sue Facebook over any leak of data that's happened 
between 2007 and 2022. So Facebook gets off here with almost complete and total immunity from any future lawsuit from any member of the class over anything else that might be discovered in the future that they leaked out. And remember, this data is out there and people are using it and exploiting it every single day. Yet Facebook now is completely absolved of any future liability related to data that has been leaked. And as you can see here, the release claims is quite broad. And it's kind of crazy that these lawyers who claim to represent consumers would allow Facebook to walk away without any further liability here. But the reason they're allowing it is because they're making so much money. And remember, you are part of this class unless you opt out. So even if you don't file for a check, you're still part of the class and you will not have any legal rights any longer for that entire stretch of time between 2007 and 2022. Now, what really gets me about this, though, is that a lot of the media outlets reporting on this settlement are not informing their readers and viewers about the rights they're giving up if they don't opt out. Most of them are just talking about the free money you can get from Facebook. And by the way, guess how these media outlets found out about it? Well, the settlement allows for a PR firm to be hired to push the story out, and that PR firm is paid out of the settlement amount outside of the attorney's fees. So a lot of people here are making money and we're getting the least amount out of it and giving up the most rights. Now for Facebook's part, they're quite happy with this settlement, right? Because they're going to be absolved of any future issues related to the data that they've been leaking out over the years. And they said the settlement's in the best interest of their community, but in particular, it's in the best interest of their shareholders. Take a look and see how much money Facebook made in net profit over the period of time that this lawsuit covers. $168.2 billion in net profit from 2007 to 2022. They were making lots of money over that period of time. This settlement represents less than 0.5% of their net profit. This is not even leaving a mark on Facebook and they'll continue doing whatever it is they're doing with your data because although they say they improved their practices, a lot of that involves you just having to agree to new terms of service that allows for continued data sharing. Their entire business model revolves around you sharing your personal information with them. So to opt out, what you can do is go to the Facebook lawsuit website and click on the opt out option and fill out the information. You won't get a check if you do this, but you will preserve your rights should more scandalous information come out in the future that Facebook might be liable for. And I can guarantee you there's only going to be a handful of people that actually take the time to do this. And the reason why the lawyers can make so much money and why this is all legal is because we consumers never stand up for any of this stuff. We just take the money and let these companies continue getting away with it. Well, I think it needs to stop. And I think the more that people understand what these lawsuits are all about, the more that we might be able to start moving the needle a little bit to make these settlements favor consumers more than the lawyers and the corporations. I will not suggest here that the lawyers and Facebook were in collusion with each other. However, they are both benefiting greatly by this settlement and we're getting butt kiss out of it. That's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic KGR, Tom Albrecht, and I'm the Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.